Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and I hope you're ready for a new trading plan because that's what we are gonna do in this video. Uh, for this trading plan I'll try to be as short as possible. Uh, we are going to as usual look at a few different time frames uh, but we are not going to uh, make a complex plan. I just want to show you with this plan that uh, you don't have to put a lot of thought if you understand how the markets work and uh, with a very simple plan you can uh, profit from the market. So let's get started. What you currently see on the screen is the H4 graph of the GBP Canadian dollar currency pair. Uh, as I, I forgot to mention that we're going to make a short-term trading plan so our entries will be placed uh, either on the H1 or M30 or even lower time frames. Uh, as you can see I have already defined a few areas now first is this H4 resistance area which uh, the price is currently standing at. You can see how the price behaved at this area before. Here, here, also here and here. As you can see uh, when the price reached that area we had some strong moves down. Uh, here the area was broken but the price quickly retraced below it so I expect this time uh, this area to uh, react uh, as expected as a resistance area and for us to see a continuation of this uh, newly form formed downtrend. Although uh, you can see how strong the uptrend was here we can see that here we had a very short consolidation in the price and uh, the price quickly retraced below this resistance area so my expectations are for the downtrend to continue probably down to here of course not that uh, in that straight line but uh, let me show you the possible scenarios uh, just to say a few words about the other areas you can see a second resistance area here uh, it is defined if we go back by this uh, range here, the price formed, you can see how many times it bounced from this area before breaking it. Uh, it acted as a support area and after that it just touched it and a huge, huge downtrend followed by after that. Uh, and you can see also that I have marked two H4 support areas. Uh, the first one is basically uh, formed by this consolidation or this uh, previous top on this overall uptrend here. Uh, so if this area is broken, uh, I believe that uh, we can easily reach the second H4 support area, which is basically uh, a very strong support area. You can see how many times a new trend started from there. So this will be our long-term target area. Now, regarding the scenarios here, uh, there are a few possibilities. Uh, the main one which I expect to happen is for us to see a downtrend wave here on the H4 to this H4 support area. Then probably a correction will follow. And after that, hopefully in a more long term, uh, we'll see a break of this H4 support, then probably uh, another correction will follow here somewhere and uh, the final downtrend uh, wave which will uh, take us all the way to the H4 support too. Uh, this is one of the possible scenarios of course. Um, we have uh, the scenario of the price breaking this H4 resistance area. Uh, in that case I expected to reach this second H4 resistance and from there for us to see the beginning of the new downtrend. So something like that and further down uh, hopefully in the long term. Uh, in both cases uh, we can look for short term uh, trades on the market. Uh, we can look for buy opportunities if the price uh, breaks this H4 
resistance uh, and you can take profit somewhere at the H4 resistance area too where you can look for sell trades or we can look for sell trades right now uh, if the price uh, gives us a sign of that it's failing to break this H4 resistance and uh, the pair is ready to uh, continue going down at least to this H4 support or further down. Now turning on the H1, you can see that, I'll just delete those, uh, uh, what we can see here is actually that the price is kind of forming sort of a double top here, uh, for now at least, and uh, even if the price here continues a, a little bit further up, I don't expect it to re-enter into that uh, sort of consolidation it made here, just above the H4 resistance. So um, I'll look for possible entries either right now, if I see a confirmation that uh, basically this previous top here won't be broken, or I will look for possible entries somewhere here uh, when the price reaches the bottom of this consolidation area. Of course, uh, the take profit area will be this H4 support where we will close uh, like 70% of our trade and leave the rest floating with a stop loss at break even. Uh, this is it regarding this plan. If I'll just check the M30, which is basically the same as the H1, so uh, nothing to consider here except uh, this, as you can see, the 200 moving average is uh, right above the uh, current price, so uh, this basically confirms the downtrend and uh, this line can act as a support or resistance. Uh, regarding the Ichimoku indicator, nothing to see there. Uh, also the Bollinger's nothing to see here, but if we see something like that over here or over here would be great. Uh, this is a square formation and if the bottom is broken it would be a great sign to enter. This is it regarding this plan. I hope you like it and I hope you follow it. Uh, we'll follow it for sure. We'll post live signals on our Telegram channel and or on our Twitter uh, profile. Uh, the last two trading plans already produced some great profits. Uh, we still have open trades on them, which we shared with you. Uh, you will learn more uh, regarding those in the weekly recap tomorrow. So uh, don't miss it out. And if you haven't joined, join our Telegram channel from the link below where we share our live signals based on uh, the trading plans we share with you. Also there we share other live signals on trading plans uh, made for only for our uh, subscribers. Thank you very much and we wish you a profitable week.